I'm not typically a seasonal wearer when it comes to fragrances. I usually go with the flow. How do I feel? What am I going to wear? How is the fragrance I'm choosing going to affect my day and my mood? That is how I decided my fragrances. So in the high heat, I do not mind wearing something like Chagaf Oud. Neither do I mind wearing something like light blue in the dead of, you know, winter. It just depends on my mood and my, you know, my, my flow, just like what I feel like wearing for the day and the dress I'm wearing. But I know a lot of people have de designated some fragrances for seasons. You know, a lot of people are seasonal wearers, summer, winter, spring. I'm not usually like that, you know. But for the sake of four videos, I have some combos here that I want to share with you. These are fragrances you can wear all year round. If you are like me, who doesn't really de designate, you know, fragrances according to seasons, you can wear these all year round, but they are quite heavy, um, Gomon fragrances, you know, and it's going to be my first ever combo video on my channel. After two years, I'm not doing a layering or combo video. This is my first time. I'm not usually like into a lot of combos. Usually I choose fragrances that are like loud and be small than like, good smelling on its own that do not need a lot of help and i just go with that you know i guess over spray and i'm done but i've been trying some layering you know combos lately and i have about 10 or so here that i you know I'm, i feel really proud about you know from my trying or my trials i think these ones have been successful and i just want to share them with you they are usually gourmands because you know fall usually goes with the theme gourmand according to fracom so let's go the first one i have here is going to be from bath and body works and then paris corner strawberry pound cake and metallico Metallica on its own doesn't need any help except for when it comes to longevity. But you know, the scent profile is beautiful enough for it to stand on its own as a great fall fragrance because it is like heavy vanilla. But when I chose to combine these two together, it toned down the outer heights in this. This is like heavy outer heights and you know, um, mineral metallic nuance. However, when I chose to combine these two together, it toned down that outer heights, that metallic nuance, and brought out more of that, you know, ice cream vanilla vibes. It is beautiful together. It's placed on, you know, the, the, the gourmand aspects in both fragrances play on each other. With this one being that cake, you know, like um, it has a lot of strawberry, fresh strawberries, golden shot cake, and then whipped cream. So very fluffy, gourmand, like, like, the best, one of the best gourmands I have come across, you know, honestly, I sort of, you know, overlooked this fragrance until I tried it. And it's so delicious. It's like scrumptious, girly, fun, flirty. And this is more serious, you know, this is more serious and more matured. And when you combine these two together, the gourmand aspects play off each other, toning down the outer heights and that metallic nuance in this also bringing out that heavy ice cream vanilla nuance in this and it is so beautiful the next combo i have here is also a simple one it didn't need any thinking about because they are all blueberry and then um one is from bath and body works and this is blueberry pound cake you know which has the notes of blueberries honey drizzle and then fluffy cake and then i combined it arabiat blueberry mask easy easy but very successful layering combo this is also in that you know same cake you know fluffy whipped cream very like frosted cake blueberry sort of blueberry muffin sort of you know vibe and this is like your typical um straight up blueberry you know scent both very gourmand they like they sync together beautifully you know it's like it was made for each other because they are both blueberry, you know, um, fragrances. Whereas this one doesn't have anything super gourmand about it. Although I consider it gourmand, you know, this is like the more gourmand one. So I put this one on first and layer it, you know, with this one. And it's not so delicious. It's like, you know, a realistic blueberry, you know, cake with some delicious vanilla here. Very beautiful, you know. I'm getting into the layering thing and I'm super excited because some of these were very successful. So I will highly recommend that you check Arabia's blueberry max you know with um bath and body works blueberry pound cake you know very beautiful it doesn't come across as your heavy you know like very heavy gourmand you know but it gives you like a very sort of transition sort of you know gourmand fragrance that you, you can wear in slightly warm weather you know as well and this is very beautiful so these two a 10 over 10 in my books Let's move on to something more heavy. And these are going to be from Afna and then 
Paris Corner caramel cascade this has macerated beautifully honestly like i wore it like not too long ago i had no issues with it it smells exactly like bianco latte now that it's been in my collection for like six or so months at this point and i layered it you know i chose to lay layer it or i tested it with souvenir blooming bliss from afnan and these two play off each other because this one has a note of caramel some sandalwood you know vanilla coconut you know some something like um baked coconut but not like your heavy you know overly baked one it, it feels like a caramelized coconut you know shavings with the caramel and the vanilla very beautiful together they sink beautifully you know they are not too far from each other in terms of being vanilla heavy and you know um fluffy and girly and gourmand they are not too far from each other guess that this one is more on the coconut and the palisanto side but when you blend these two together it gave me something very scrumptious it's like delicious gourmand they are not doing too much you know sometimes when you layer certain fragrances together they sort of you know one over overshadows the other none of these fragrances overshadows the other they play or they sink beautifully i get that coconut that i want in this one coconut here is done beautifully i'm not like heavily into coconut fragrances but this one was done perfectly because of the other vanilla and you know palisanto and other woods and this is beautiful caramel you know marshmallow whipped cream sort of feel to it fluffy girly fun this is also not serious or just a little bit mature than this you know but they play off each other very well so try these two if you have them together very beautiful you know and it will give you that typical you know fall heavy but not like um you know the dead of you know winter sort of feel this is not like dead of winter sort of feel it's like more of that you know transitioning into fall you know sort of vibes and i would highly recommend that to check this one these two together the next combo i tried that i absolutely love it's one of my best in this you know combo series that i, I tried and these are going to be junun noir from Aharamain and bayan asra beautiful it's like polarizing not polarized like the opposite side they don't smell alike in any way i don't know what asked me to you know i've just been trying trying things you know and finally try these two together they play off each other so beautifully this is heavy vanilla and some you know powdery powdery vanilla and kumquat you know and this is like hazelnut and pear and rose so it's not like the the most likely things you would combine but when i did combine these two beautiful i still get that bayan asra vibe that you know a much guidance vibe and i still equally get it they don't clash they are not they don't compete with each other the dry down of these two combined beautiful it doesn't give you like that heavy um rose and hazelnut and pear is toned down by the vanilla in this one that you know meshes beautifully well with the kumquat and everything it's like made for each other i know a lot of people have these two so just try to let me know what you think especially when it comes to the dry down the dry down is so beautiful it's like intoxicating gourmand but not like your super heavy gourmand because um this has been added to the mix beautiful nonetheless you know so try these two and let me know what you think buy an ashra from paris corner and then Junun Noir from Haramein. Beautiful together. So beautiful together. And it feels super sexy and intoxicating as well. The next one on this list, I decided not to combine it with anything because to me, it doesn't need any help whatsoever. Although this is a layering combination video, I wanted this to stand by itself on its own because it doesn't really need any help, you know, and I would choose not to wear this with anything. Although when I wore, um, liquid brand a few days you know like if i've been wearing it with um one other fragrance you know but i guess for this is good enough you know this is best worn by itself without layering it with anything i like the scent profile of this you know that spiced floral cinnamon um vanilla here it is boozy that bourbon vanilla here is boozy it gives me you know four vibes the bottle is even like brown you know very beautiful I don't think this one needs any help. If you want to sort of combine this, you might as well give it something like, combine it with like another vanilla scent, you know, but not a lot of vanilla scent can stand, you know, this one, you know, when it comes to 
the quality the scent and everything you know this is very beautiful on its own it doesn't actually need any help whatsoever so although it is a layering video i choose to let this one stand by itself on its own beautiful beautiful fall you know winter year round to me you know but it is gourmand and it is heavy vanillic cinnamon florals beautiful so liquid brand i'll say you can layer but i would say just works by itself you know it doesn't it doesn't need any help at all it doesn't so that is going to be liquid brand from um from fragrance world yes from fragrance world the next combo here is one i thought was going to be seamless and i wasn't disappointed at all these two are both heavy almond scents you know all do like different directions all together but as soon as i tried them together i knew i had you know hit something special it smells amazing together both of these fragrances are super long lasting you know i wore it to bed like a few days ago and even like the next evening i could still smell this combo on my you know on my nighty you know whatever i i wore that night you know and it's very beautiful it feels quite intimidating and quite special very addictive and these are girl of now by elisab and shagaf ud tonka by swiss arabia these are both heavy gomon scents just that this one is like heavy they are both heavy in um almond and orange blossom you know so heavy like they, they share quite a lot in common guess that this one is more sweeter you know much more feminine whereas this one is more unisex with a bitter almond and the almond here is like more of the sweet almond with some pistachio when you combine these two together intoxicating sexy they play off each other beautifully i don't know it feels like one fragrance you know when you i layer these two together it felt like that is how the fragrance came you know like something that was bottled together it seemed like very seamless nothing is playing off each other in a bad way nothing is overtaking the other they they just you know blend and mesh beautifully i i just feel like it could be like a fragrance if you could combine you could pour this into that you know and, and have it as a a one you know fragrance it's going to be a very beautiful thing so girl of now the og and then shagav utsonka by swiss arabian i highly recommend and i also know a lot of people have these two fragrances that they can easily you know try that this combination that i'm talking about so girl of now and then shagav utsonka by swiss arabia the next combo i have here i got an idea from kiki of my fragrance trio she first mentioned it and i tried it and it is good you know it is it, it is that good um Amir Aoud Intense by Latafa and then also Se by Latafa. This one of, you know, smell alike in a way. Guess that this one is more dense with the heavy vanilla and some almonds. And this is also quite, you know, sweet, much more sweeter and a little more smokier than this. But they sort of give me very similar vibes. These two together, the sexiest, most intoxicating person in the room. That is the combination. That is the name of the combination here. This is beautiful. It's also heavy, resonance, thick, full, you know, cuddly, cozy, warm, hug, feel. These two beautiful together. So these two, I don't know, it feels like sexy intoxicating it feels like very calm here for when you want to you know bring out your heavy guns that is what this one seemed to me so on your date night you know um for winter date night these two i will just combine them bring them out you know and they play off each other so beautifully so beautifully there's something about the vanilla the heavy vanilla in this one plus the vanilla and chestnut you know not that nutty chestnut and the almond here it's like um, I don't know, but there's something about that. They are very similar because they are both nutty. They are both vanillic. They both give me that smoky nuance, you know, sweet, gourmand. It's beautiful. Very beautiful together. So try these two. And I know this combo too. I just wanted to bring com like fragrances that I know a lot of people already have in their collection that you don't need to go out to buy anything, you know, out of your, your budget. These are the ones I'm talking about. I know a lot of us already have. So I decided to try them, you know, and a lot of these ones are working for me currently. So say by Latafa and then um, Amir Wood Intense also by Latafa. Try this and thank me later. Thanks to Kiki. Yes, thanks to Kiki. One more with Amir Aoud Intense that I think a lot of us are going to love, that I absolutely adore, are going to be Amir Aoud Intense and 
Kikisa delicious. These two are super soft, gentle, sultry. Whereas this, the combination with say is more of that, you know, sexy, in your face sort of, you know, vibe. This one is like more of that calm, you know, calm heater vibes, more gentle, more demure, you know, it is not like super in your face. So I decided to do few of this, you know, and more of that, you know, because I wanted a more fluffy sort of, you know, um, combination and these two combined, but less of this and more of this beautiful. I don't know why these people underestimate this or, you know, underrate this fragrance. It is beautiful. Honestly, it's one of my most beautiful gourmands I think I have come across for the year 2024 and currently selling for around $19. You can't be this you can't this is very intoxicating on its own on its own it is beautiful i get compliments on this you know simple dark chocolate whipped cream fragrance i get compliments than a lot of my other fragrances you know i think i'm going to do my most complimented fragrances and this is definitely going to be on that list you know and this is equally intoxicating compliment magnet these two together beautiful so try these two too and thank me later Try them. Honestly, do try them because they are beautiful together. They are really, really beautiful together. And the last combination I have here, this it's a fragrance I don't wear by itself. The first one, you know, the first one I decided, there's something about Ajua, you know, Ajua from Latafa that I don't, it doesn't, it's good smelling, but on its own, I don't like it as a, you know, by itself. I need to layer it with something. And in more recent times, I picked up a fragrance and I charged, you know, upon this combo. I guess wanted to try, you know, I, I was trying it with other things. But it was one, okay, this particular one went, this particular one, Zuhair Luck by Arabiat, is the only fragrance that has really worked with this that I love, you know. On its own, it is good enough, but there's something about it that I can't, I'm not really a fan of unless I layer it, you know. And when I layered these two together, it gave me, like, the best Thanksgiving fragrance. That is the summary of what I can describe this two combo. It gave me like a, a very gourmand spice. They are, they are both very spicy. They are not like rich and resonance. You know, they are like more spicy and, you know, out there. This is more of a spiced um, vanilla and then apple scent. Whereas this is like the licorice and the, the dates. It's all about the dates. It gives me a bit of camera vibes, but more spicy. And when I combine these two together, Forget about camera. Forget about even camera kawa. This two combination is going to give you the best Thanksgiving apple pie, you know, sort of vibes you can ever, you know, imagine. Trust me, forget about angel share and um, camera and camera kawa. These two together are phenomenal. So these are the combinations I was able to come up with. There are a lot more I am trying. I hope to be able to do a lot more, you know, and bring you so many other um, layering videos, you know. I'm getting into it and I'm super excited about it, you know. For the most part, I just want my fragrances to shine on their own without doing too much to it, you know. These ones are heavy enough to cut through the colder weather, you know, although you can wear it year round, like I always say, you know, but they are both like, when you combine some of these together, they are heavy enough to to take you through your colder you know days and nights and very intoxicating mass appealing um compliment magnets everything that you want in a fragrance and more and that is going to be it for today and what i want to do is to bring you like a heavy fall fragrance you know um combo or maybe a, just a heavy fall fragrance like something that they catered to fall like the thick of fall you know um transitioning into winter or something but they i i have some heavy heaters i want to bring later on you know as a not maybe not a uh, layering video but you know like heavy hitter um four fragrances and um stay tuned for that so that is going to be it for today and i hope this video found you well please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and i hope to see my next one take care bye bye